<clears throat> I know a lot of you have relied on Terrain Party uh, for getting your elevation data uh, for height maps for city skylines. I'm going to show you a alternative source, a better source for elevation data for your height maps and height maps. What I'm covering is going to be for the United States. You want to go to TNM Download, the national map. You'll need to use this and download data. You'll need to get a, uh, uh, a subscription. It's completely free. Uh, all you do is sign in and uh, it's very quick and easy. does not require a credit card uh, or anything of that nature. In my first video, I showed you how to get elevation data for Switzerland. Uh, in this one, we're doing the United States. Now, I have not researched this, but I'm sure that most well-developed countries have their own uh, websites for uh, topography and elevation data that you can download. Uh, I'm guessing that because Switzerland has it, the United States has it, I would assume most developed countries do. So this will be specific for the United States. But once we're at USGS TNM download, all we have to do is zoom on in on the area that we want to acquire data for. We can select extent, simply draw square around the area that we want. Now, I brought you here to show you the elevation data, but one thing I want to mention is do not overlook USGS uh, US topo maps that are downloaded in PDF form. They are super valuable. They have a lot of information. Uh, they come with layers with contour lines. Uh, uh, the hydrology showing the water, the rivers and streams, uh, and it's all in layers so you can separate out contour lines, you can separate out water. Uh, they're a very valuable source and are great for assembling with your height maps to create a street overlay. And also you can extract your rivers and streams from that. So don't overlook that as a so to get your, your height maps, we want to go to Elevation Products 3DEP. You can choose one third arc second, which is a 10 meter resolution. And those download as height maps that you can use immediately in Photoshop. I like using the 1 9th arc second DIM. That is a 3 meter accuracy. It is much more accurate. To be able to use these you need a GIS processing software such as ArcMap or, or uh, QGIS. Um, and I have a demonstration in my second video <clears throat> on how to process these with uh, ArcGIS Pro. So if we want our one-third arc second dim. Once you have checked it and selected it, and here we have three dims that cover that area. And then we can simply download that data. You have three here that covers the area, and you can look at the footprint to see what that's covering. It would appear that these are all the essentially the same thing. What they are, in fact, are produced in different, basically the same information produced in different years. Here we have the map that we just downloaded. It comes in as a 32-bit. We'll take that. We'll go to 16 bits for channel. Equalize histogram.
and as easy as that, there we have our height map. That comes in as a 10K height map. By the time we zoom in on our localized data, I know from previous experience that that is about 1931 and uh, the same size height map that would come in from say terrain party or something like that would be a thousand and eighty one uh, so we're almost twice the resolution right there so that gives pretty good accuracy if you chose the one ninth uh, arc second and process those you would have much higher resolution. So hopefully that uh, shows you an alternative uh, for downloading not only better uh, elevation products uh, but also uh, quite quick and easy. So thanks for watching.